This is a Motorola Flipout, a device that Rod has recently launched. We did a review of the hardware a few days ago. You can go to mobilesyrup.com, check it out. We mainly took a look at this hinge, and it certainly surpassed the test. The real question is, if you want to be with a device for a year, two years, three years, and get use of this motion every time you need to open up to use a QWERTY keypad. One thing that I did find using it is that the QWERTY keypad was really good compared to actually using the device on the touch screen which is 2.8 inches. It's a nice size display for this size device. I'll go in and show you what I mean. You can see that there's many options. This comes with Android 2.1, Motorola's Moto Blur, so it comes loaded on the home screen where you can get all your important messages, your Twitter, your Facebook, even your latest images that you do have from Flickr, so you can stream them right on your home screen, which is really nice. Speaking of which, customizable home screens all throughout this device certainly add your different widgets that you do have, so really easy, really accessible. Also, one thing that they do have is uh, live wallpaper, so you can certainly add wallpapers to which ones you do want, so for example, let's use this, you can see it's loading the live wallpaper depending on what's going on, it'll certainly change it in the background as well, so you can see that it's really easy to do and easy to change, really easy to customize this and it's changed in the background, so you can see that it's changing right there. So it's pretty cool. You can do things that'll make this device really unique. And that's really what Moto Blur is actually about, and Android as well. On the top here, three and a half millimeter headset jack can hold to 32 gigs. Let's go straight into an application that I think you'll be pleasantly happy about is YouTube. Now it does stream quickly, not as really fast as we've seen with other devices. For some reason it does take its kind of sweet time to load while it's loading I will show you the QWERTY keypad again using it I'll go into the messaging before you can see the QWERTY keypad is really close together still not loading for some reason it takes its sweet time Going to turn up the volume so it's all the way, and I'll turn off the lights so you can see what's happening here. Speaking of, pretty keypad, nice and bright backlit, no faded areas when it comes to the quitter keypad. Speakers on the back. That's crazy. So give us a little insight of the actual video as well on YouTube. So if we go out of here, I'll show you what video looks like from the camera. It's got a three megapixel camera. Go into my gallery. You can see I got my camera roll ready to rock here. Turn off the lights again. The camera's located on the back. You can see it shows it in a nice format here. If you go into it, touch screen is really, really sensitive. It's got no flash, but one thing you can do to enhance the picture is you can see that there's an edit button right there. Going to edit, it's got something called Kodak Perfect Touch, which somewhat enhances the picture. Gives it a little bit more life, as if there was somewhat of a flash. You can go ahead and save that. So there you go, it's pretty simple. You can see the major differences here. 
This is a video. What to expect, the quality. Okay, here's the video quality you can expect on the Motorola Flip It. You can see that I'm holding it right at the back. And sometimes where the camera is located, my finger goes over it. So that's just one thing for you to be aware of. But this is the quality of video you can expect on the Motorola Flip Out. So the sound quality is really impressive. The quality of picture when the video really pixelated, even close up. 3 megapixel camera, as I said, located on the back. Wasn't too impressed with the video quality, but the sound quality is really nice. Let's go into the messaging. You can see you got all your messages there. You can do all your email, your contacts, calendar. I'm just going to go ahead and use the touch screen to show you. You can see that one of the things that I want to do here is start using the keypad. Just go send my buddy Steve Lewis an email or a message here. On the actual touch screen, you can see that when I want to type a message, it brings up the full QWERTY keypad. So you really never need to go into the actual QWERTY keypad, the physical one. But this is really incredibly sensitive and will become frustrated for you as well. So typing in a message, that predicts the texting as well. So let's say I wanted to keep going on the QWERTY keypad, which I find a little bit more easy to use. The question is, will you become comfortable flipping this actually out? I'm not too sure over the long period that it will become a little bit frustrating. But overall, the design-wise, really compact, a little bit uh, stuffy in my pocket, for example, simply because of how thick the actual device is. Only weighs 88 grams, but you know, over time, I think it will get a little me, for example, a little bit more frustrated. QWERTY keypad, hands down, easy, simple to use. You won't get frustrated using it. Five rows, directional pad, space bar is a little bit tight, but got used to it. So simple to use. And all you have to do is send. Does it in a threaded format there? So pretty cool. Other features of this, go straight into the actual application area here, Gmail, all your email, your music can hold the 32 gigs with a micro SD card, comes loaded surprisingly with Zoom Pass, Google Talk, so you can certainly do a lot here, your contacts, your calendar, your camera, let's check out the browser for you, so you got MTV loaded up here, has some essential things missing from it. But just to show you what it could look like, a heavy website here. Certainly not the fastest in the group. But one of the nice things to do is that it does have pinch and zoom, so you can go back in and out. As I said, you can see how sensitive it is here. So it does show up really nice. Let's go to mobile syrup. So when it does finish loading the page, you can see it brings it up as if it would on your desktop, which is really nice. And Pinch and Zoom is really nice as well. That's a little bit about the browser as well. So overall, you know, it's one of these devices that's a catch-22 because it does come with Android OS 2.1, comes with Motorola's Moto Blur. It's compact. It's to the point. It's affordable. But one of the things that I think that you might get frustrated with is this actual flip-out motion, which is ironically what the phone is called. But the keyboard is top-notch. You won't get frustrated with that. Directional pad barely used it. 3 megapixels on the back, can take video. So overall, general device, it's okay. It's something really spectacular to write home about. There's other devices that are around that are Android that are a little bit more easier to use. So we'll have more information on the Rogers Motorola Flipout on mobilesyrup.com.